everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reacting to the Gabriel's Inferno trailer. So if you didn't know, Gabriel's Inferno by Sylvain Renard is becoming, well actually is already, a movie with Passion Flicks. If you don't know what Passion Flicks it is a streaming service that is dedicated to bringing romance books to life. I have made countless videos about Passion Flicks. I love and support passion flicks. I think they are fantastic. I will link my playlist for all of my passion flicks related videos. So yes, Gabriel's Inferno will be a movie on passion flicks. The movie is going to be overall like five hours long, but they are splitting it up into three parts. So part one will premiere May 29th on passion flicks. And we got the trailer today, obviously. It's what I'm going to be reacting to. And I believe the trailer is just for part one. Um, I don't think it's like for the whole movie. It's just related to part one, I think. And part two and part three will kind of be a month apart as well. So um, we probably won't get part two till like end of June part three, end of July. But I'm very excited because I love the cast so far and I am very excited to watch this trailer and I hope it's really good. Even though I do love passion flicks, I do feel like their trailers aren't necessarily the best. I think that is something that they definitely need to improve a little bit. But I mean, it's also kind of hard to do trailers on like romance movies because trailers are usually like very action packed or like very gripping. And I feel like for romance trailers and adaptations, it's a little bit harder to make it like seem really exciting, especially if the story is not super dramatic and stuff. I don't know. I'm still really excited to see this trailer and uh, give you all of my thoughts. Um, let me know if you have read the books and what you think of the books. I will link the trailer down below and all of the social media. I will also link some of my on topic videos where I talk about Gabriel's Inferno because if you are a regular viewer of mine you know how much I love Gabriel's Inferno and how excited I am about the adaptation. So I will link some of my past on topic videos if you want to know more about the adaptation. So let's go ahead and watch the trailer. Have you ever held a boy's hand? Then I'm glad I'm your first. I'm Julia Mitchell. I just arrived from St. Joseph's University. It's a year for Emerson. He's uh, difficult to work with. Miss Mitchell, see me in my office after class. And since this is not going to work, find another supervisor or transfer departments, or better yet, university. I'm starting. You're joining me for dinner. Tell me why, after everything you've said to me, should I join you? Why did you start studying Italian? I became interested in Italian literature. Dante and Beatrice. What is going on between you two? Have you ever looked up at the stars with a boy lying next to you? You'll catch pneumonia and die. Get in. Are you cold? Why didn't you tell him who you are? I thought he'd remember me. He doesn't. I've never danced like this before. Tell him glad I'm here first. What's wrong? It might not seem obvious to you, but I'm trying to be human here. Exactly where I found you, and you can stay there for all I care. Beatrice! Oh my gosh, it, it actually looks so good. 
Oh my gosh. Um, I don't know what to say. I feel like this is one of their better trailers. Um, definitely one of the best that they've done so far, which is great. Wow, there is a lot to unpack in that trailer. Oh my goodness. Oh my, like I literally don't know what to say. Maybe I have to rewatch it. I feel like there's so much to look at. I'm just, I, d I don't really know. <laughs> I love that the music that they picked. I wasn't sure about Julio like having a thick accent, but he does a really good job trying to hide it, but still like have it. There's just so many scenes. Like I don't, I'm, I'm rewatching it without the volume. I also love the quote of, oh, you told me to look for you in hell. I love that. And I love how we got to hear Julio say, uh, Beatrice. Love that. I also love all of the scenes where, like in the past, when they first meet, I guess. Oh yeah, we got to see Gabriel's tattoo. Yeah, this trailer was pretty good. What did you guys think of the trailer? I feel like it's been a while since I've read the book. I have read it twice. Um, and I will obviously be rereading it for my review. But I feel like there's so many things that I do forget about it. But the trailer did look pretty good. Yeah, as I said, I do think it's one of their best so far. So very happy with that. I don't really know how I'm going to film my review because obviously it's going to be released in three parts. Uh, pretty much like a month apart for each part. Because I don't really want to wait to watch each part. So I think I'm just going to film me watching each part and then sit on the footage and wait and then once the third part comes out, I'll edit it all together and then upload it. Or would you guys want me to review each part and upload that? I just don't really know if that's gonna work out. I feel like I should just make one whole video about three parts. I think it's just gonna work better that way. <laughs> Let me know if you have any other suggestions or preferences, I guess, to how you want me to review uh, the adaptation. So yeah, that is it for this reaction. Um, I am just kind of like in shock. I don't really know what to say, um, but let me know what you guys think about the trailer and what scenes you're excited to see. Yeah, I will have everything linked down below. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, follow me on all my other social media, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!